This video is brought to you by Elmer's Products. Many of you lovely viewers have oohed and aahed over my Midsummer Night's Dream Lamp and asked if I made it myself. No, it was made with a laser cutter by Dutch artist Tord Buncha. We don't have the luxury of a laser cutter, nor do we want to copy the artist's work. So today I'm going to show you a technique to create your own paper cut lamp by hand using a similar look from my 3D geometric sculpture. To get started, you will need an X-Acto knife, an X-Acto cutting mat, and thick but pliable cardstock in the colors of your choice. I cut two pieces that are 15 by 13 and 15 by 15 inches, but you can cut any size and design you want. Place your cardstock on top of your cutting mat and align it with the grid. If you want, you can cut out templates and trace them first, but I found it easy to eyeball the first two straight lines using the matte grid as my guide. Then, use a ruler to connect the two lines. You are going to want to leave about a half inch border and half inch space in between your triangles. Add a second, third, and fourth triangle and start playing with different sizes. You need your cardstock to be pliable and able to gently bend into shape. Keep on adding those triangles. Big ones, little teeny tiny ones, Continue filling in triangles, as many as you can muster. Large ones certainly take less time, but I like the intricacy of the small shapes. Fill up the entire piece of cardstock with the exception of a strip across the top, like so. Now you're gonna make a tab and a slit to keep the paper connected when rolled into your cone. Make a mark and cut an angular C on one side and a slit on the other side. Roll the paper back into a cone to find the right spots to make your marks before you cut them. Repeat the same steps for your second sheet of paper. You can do a single sheet, double, or triple. It's totally up to you. Take an Elmer's glue stick and gently add a layer of glue to both the tab and the slit. Add clothespins to keep them in place and let them dry for a few hours. The small opening of your cone should have a two inch diameter. To hang, you'll need a pendant cord set. Ikea cords have a built-in piece that keeps the paper shade from touching the bulb. Pull the cord through the cone opening, plug first. It's easier to add the cord once the paper cone is already glued. For the light source, you want a green, energy-saving, low wattage bulb. LEDs are ideal, but compact fluorescent bulbs are also a safe choice. Hang your lamp with a ceiling hook and tack the cord down with cable staples. And voila! You've made your own paper cut lamp by hand. Customize your lamp design to be as simple or complex as you want. 